Hi guys, thank you for tuning into my channel. I am Ambition Wright. If you're new to my channel, then make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are liking what you see. So today's video is going to be me kind of using my new products that I just bought and trying them all on camera. And I'm going to be calling this stash or trash. So am I going to be keeping the products after this tutorial? Or am I going to be returning them to stash or trash? So, if you're interested in how I got this tutorial and this hair look, or what I use for this hair look, then keep on watching, guys. Right, so, I picked up the Maybelline Total Temption Brow Definer in the color Deep Brown. Okay. Right off the bat, this spoolie, what the heck is that? Okay. It's very pigmented. It's more pigmented. Oh my god, this brush brush sucks. It's a lot more pigmented than the NYX brow. What is it? Brow... Micro brow. There you go. <laughs> it's a lot more pigmented. So you have to use like really light strokes. And if anyone uses any of the products that I mentioned today, definitely leave in the comments like if you use them, if you like them, or if you recommend any other products. Like, talk to me, talk to me. So my brows are a little dark. <laughs> this is in the color deep brown. So we're gonna be using a new brushes. Um, I got a couple Morphe brushes. These three are Morphe brushes. I'm not new to Morphe brushes, but I'm new to these ones. So I have two blending ones, eyeshadow brush. I'm also not new to Sonia Kashuk brushes, but she came up with a new collection. It's like a gold collection and a black and gold collection. Two blending brushes and two eyeshadows. And I also picked up this brush from Marshalls, Sala Okala, something like that. This is a contour brush. I really like the shape of it. And it's just really pretty. And the palette that we're going to use today is the big old Morphe Did to Create palette, which looks like this. It's so huge. In conjunction with the Anastasia Prison palette, I'm sure you guys know what it looks like, but it looks like Zish. Okay, let's use the Morphe M504 brush. We're gonna go into this color right here. This is packing on the color very well. It's like a it's kind of like a pointed, but it's a fluffy one as well. It's very dense, so I'm liking that. I feel like this is packing on the color, but it's not blending it out. Let's go in with the Morphe M510 brush and try to blend that out okay this seems like more of a blending brush the Sonia Kashuk tapered blending brush so this is more pointed at the top this one right here oh this brush is very soft if you could hear the trash ignore it the trash man's outside just ruining my tutorial. Alright, let me try to use this other brush. The Sonia Kashuk Blending Crease Brush. It's a little bit more dense. I'm going to go back in that same color I'm using and see if I can kind of like pack on that color. Okay, this is a little bit harder of a brush. There we go. So, so far I'm really liking these brushes. Even though, what brush was it? This Sonia Kashuk one was $13.99 at Target. Like, girl, you are more than Morphe brushes, and Morphe brushes are bomb. So let's get it together. These gold ones were like $6, so around Morphe. Now in the Anastasia Prison Palette, I think I'm going to take this Morphe M167 brush, and then the color Lure, and pack that onto my lid. Really flat eyeshadow brush, so this is perfect to pack on my a matte shade and a shimmer shade but you know. now going back with the Sonia Kashuk brush and this big old Betty big old palette <laughs> I'm gonna go back in this color and just clean up the edges here I don't know what the trash is doing so long but you could leave I think my favorite is this one it's very dense and it's very small. If you have hooded eyes, I would imagine that this would be a really good brush. Now I'm going to be trying the Maybelline Master Prime Primer <laughs> in 
hydrate and smooth. I actually got this in my influencer box. Is that how you say influencer? As a complimentary thing. So I got this and the foundation. I don't know what the trash guys are doing, but like, didn't they check my schedule that they knew I was recording today? Like, I haven't recorded in a while and you just wanna pop out today. Anyways, this is for dry skin. I think. Well, what it does is it visibly smooths, primes with hydration, which I actually feel that. It's very hydrating. I didn't put any moisturizer on, so I, I'm liking the feeling of this so far. Well, the foundation I got is the uh, Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Fit Me Foundation, the color Mocha. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I love the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And I also got this from Influencer. They know that I have dry skin. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll try the foundation that's supposed to be for my skin, I suppose. But I never... Um, she don't want to come out. I never like a dewy finish, so, you know, I always, even though I have dry skin, I just make sure that I, um, moisturize and hydrate my skin before a matte foundation because I don't like the dewy look but we're gonna try this foundation today the consistency I could tell right off the bat is very much lighter than the fit me poreless it's definitely lighter oof it is looking very orange on camera I actually gotta go outside I actually gotta go to work people actually gotta see me so like I hate when some YouTubers they're like yeah I'm about to try this foundation girl you do YouTube for a living you don't gotta go outside ain't nobody gonna see your orange face all right let me just put a teeny bit more ooh ooh now she wants to come out girl you didn't want to come out before now you want to just rush all out I have to put a mattifying powder over this so next I picked up the Maybelline instant age rewind concealer they have new shades so I picked up the color hazelnut this is orange okay I don't know how I feel about this um, concealer I don't know um I really have no words I might do a follow-up review or a review on my blog so make sure you are subscribed to my blog because that's usually when if I don't have a chance to hop on camera to kind of follow up on a product that is when I will write a blog post. I picked up a new mascara. I picked up the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous X Fiber. I've already started to open it. It has a double end so obviously number one goes first. I don't see anything on my lashes but all right. Now let's put step two. Okay, so this is this is this one compared to that one. Do you guys see anything? Yeah, this is a no. I don't like it. 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 No. Ooh, for my spoolie to kind of take off the excess microfibers or whatever. Whew. Nearly had a heart attack. Anyways, we are going to try my cute little unicorn brush, contour brush. We're going to use the Fenty Beauty contour. It's a nice brush, yeah. Definitely, I got this brush for like $3.99 at Marshall, so it does the job. Onto this foundation. My skin actually looks very smooth. It looks like it matches, you know, for, for, for the most part. You know, my neck doesn't really fully match. But I think it, it looks good. Yeah, I'll keep the foundation. I mean, I got it, you know, and influenced there, so it's not like I paid for it. So the last products that I'm going to mention in this haul is what I used for my hair. And I picked up the Shea Moisture Manuki. Manuki. <laughs> The Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Intensive Hydration Leave-In Milk. I also tried the same line, the Twist Defining Custard, which looks like this. It's actually pretty thick, actually. Yeah, it's like a cream. I also picked up the Max Hold Gel. This is more runny. It's not open because I haven't tried it yet. But you can see it's runny. Um, I'm probably going to use that for wash and go. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. So you could 
hear about this as a wash and go but I use the hair milk and the twist defining custard to achieve this braid out I'm definitely feeling it the front of my hair is more wavy so that's why it's more wavy <laughs> but the rest of my hair has a good like definition this is second day hair it's very soft so I must say that this Mephora and Manuka <laughs> line is very hydrating it's very shiny you can see it it's very very shiny it's very soft and I'm definitely feeling it but yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video guys if you use any of the products that I mentioned in this video then comment down below do you like them do you hate them so don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one bye guys